Well, it's been an unbelievable week here in the UK and I'm here on day three in uh, testing out at Conway Golf Club. That's been a backdrop all week. A little bit more breeze today, but it's absolutely been a stunning week. And today I'm testing a real interesting product. It's a forged iron from Callaway. It is the epic forged iron and there is a lot packed into this club head, believe me. you what Callaway is saying is packed into this and how it might help you as a golfer but first of all we've got to talk about the looks of these irons throw some more images up on screen for you now and give me your opinion I mean I think for my eye they've produced one of the best looking clubs that I've seen on the market I really mean that it is I think it's an absolutely stunning golf club um, there are no more words really interested in your feedback but the way that is pieced together really really suits my eye and we'll talk about how it sits at a dress very very shortly and uh, how they've achieved other things uh, in in the sense of the profile and the build but from a looks perspective unbelievable but what about the technology that's packed in it and the technology that is gonna justify why these are so expensive let's have a look at the tech inside of this club head Right, so you've heard what I think in terms of the looks and interest in your comments down below. What is, uh, am I going overboard on these or are they as stunning as I think they are? Anyway, uh, that's a personal thing. On to the technology that Callaway has packed into this club. And believe me, it's a lot and believe me, there needs to be a lot because we're going to come to the price very, very shortly. Um, it is a 1025 carbon steel uh, forged body. With inside that body is you've got some tungsten weighting. The tungsten weighting is wrapped in um, urethane microspheres. The urethane microspheres is uh, a, a, a dampened sound and, and vibration, but they're saying it's not impacting on ball speeds either uh, because there's an, uh, this 360 cup face technology, which is again, all about ball speeds right across the club face. And we'll also talk about that a bit later on as well. Um, the tungsten weighting, uh, the suspended energy core as they call it, it just allows them to position the tungsten weighting exactly where it needs to be to get optimal performance out of each iron. So that'll be in a slightly different position for what you want from each iron. So a longer iron compared to uh, a short iron, obviously the characteristics that you want are gonna be slightly different and that's what this allows them to do. They've got two shaft options, interesting as well. Steel fiber or graphite. I'm going with, uh, I've got a tensite white graphite shaft at the moment, uh, 60 gram shaft, interesting to see how we get there and how this thing performs. I'm going to talk about price very, very quickly because there's a lot of technology and I think from listening to the press release uh, that came out from Callaway, I think they've packed everything they've got in terms of tech, uh, what they've learned over the years, everything they've got is packed into this club, but it comes at a price tag. It's going to be not far off, and I'm talking not far off. 280 $290 per club that's the RRP likelihood is it's probably going to be about a 250 per club at retail so it's a high high price point but carry on and keep watching don't switch off now because I know some of you will be offended by that price point carry on and keep watching and just see what you get for your money in these irons these epic flat epic irons forged irons from Callaway Interesting ball flight on the five iron. We're slightly down breeze, but uh, it's a really good ball flight. It's a strong ball flight. You'd be concerned about the lofts, and I'm interested. This is the first long iron that I've hit, and interested to see as we go around the course, which is where it really matters, is how these strong lofts are impacted on the performance. In other words, can we get the ball to stop on the greens, or is it just too much of a low penetrating flight? We'll find that out very, very soon. But a great start. Uh, like I said, two balls I hit there, one off camera, but really got them both out the middle. And it pretty much was out the middle, so we'll see when we get some off-centre strikes how this performs. Because one of the big claims they've got is just again, from Callaway, you'll see this image that I throw up in front of you now. 
that's a sort of heat map about ball strikes across the face and you'll see just how little loss in terms of distance that they've got in different areas of strike points around that face and that's the bit that always interests me as an average golfer because it's likely that I'm uh, not going to continue finding the middle of this club face. You got the ball fight on that. It's right down, so the target line in the uh, is on number 12 is right behind the green there. Uh, again, took a tight lie, really nice pickup. Um, first two shots, really impressed. That's all I'm going to say at this stage. and it's really compact behind the ball which is something that I'm still really liking you're not you're not um, for what's packed into this to get into such a small profile is again something that uh, I think it's been amazing great feel it's a little bit of a bounce off the face there uh, you know which which I like which is is a nice feel again it's got a nice sound to it nice little click off the face there very controllable lots of feedback back into the hands but like I said, when you start over the ball, one of the major things is how small and compact this club head is. Um, it looks to all intents and purposes to, you know, they, they, they've done this thing again with this sort of two-tone uh, cambered top line, which gives a, a bit of an optical illusion. And it sits very nice behind the ball. And like I said, I take them two all day long. This is all over the flag. This is the right club. Come down off the bank down off the bank stay on the bank right okay so 160 yardage downwind and 9-9 uh, nine -nine is what I just played again decent ball flight on it which is what I really like about these things at the minute uh, one of the other things I like about these um, stay left of the flag ball didn't move a great deal and I'm more than happy with the strike um, it's an interesting one because that didn't come out the middle uh, it still travelled the distances and this idea one of the things I'm always interested in is appeal to average golfers in terms of like that little bit of uh, helpfulness across the face and as I say you can see there with a little bit of grass it's uh, it's low and off the toe but still did a decent job as ever I like feedback and it's your opinion that really matters and counts you're the people that are going to be buying these clubs at the end of the day what are your thoughts on these irons so far uh, impressed impressed with performance do you like the looks well this price tag Lots to comment on down below, so make sure you get involved in the conversation because I love getting feedback. Just checking out the microphone on. Uh, that came out a bit out the bottom grooves, um, but again, to be honest with you, that's one of the things I've not been swinging that great with the irons this morning, to be uh, fair to Epic as well, uh, to Callaway. Uh, but one thing that sometimes impresses me more than when I'm absolutely uh, getting them straight out the middle is what a club does when it's not so great. And again, you probably heard that. I don't know whether you can find it. was definitely bottom grooves, but the ball is still going out there. It's an incredible the way they get these clubs. And it's not just this club, let's, let's be fair. There's a lot of clubs now by where it's that help and forgiveness across the club face. However you want to word it, however you want to term it, in a straight old fashioned old blade, if we strip back all the technology that you might think is in this, a straight back old blade and that's a ricochet straight up the forearm and it won't go far at all. With today's technology and it's got everything packed into this in terms of technology, that ball has still done incredibly well and it's a fairway finder on 17. I just want to talk about the irons at address. Um, I mentioned it briefly earlier, um, I've got a T-Pex, so we'll leave that there. You do see a little bit of the bottom end, a little bit of the mass, but the top line is uh, chamfered and it's slightly thinner. It seems to be slightly thinner for me on the shorter irons. Um, minimal offset uh, is what I'm looking at and it just really does sit nice behind the ball. As ever, I don't know about you, but I'm a fan where there's the, the two color uh, in terms of the satin finish and the high chrome finish really frames the center of the club. Um, but yeah, it sits very nice behind the ball. That's all well and good, but can you miss them three bunkers down the right hand? 
I think they're out of reach with a bit of uh, wind in. Oh, what a ball that is. Can you pick up the ball flights? I mean, that's a five iron, strong lofted five iron. It's middle of the fairway and it's just gone an absolutely powerful penetrating ball flight right up there. I mean, it's landing on a firm fairway uh, in the height of July and it ain't going far, so... Uh Well, unfortunately, it's gone straight into the bunker. Have I got the Swiss on? Yes, I have. I keep forgetting that bit. Uh, it's gone bunker left. It stayed there, hoping again for a little bit of cut. But at the minute, I'm hitting these things nothing but straight, which is probably a good thing. Uh, right. Just to note, that was 170 into the middle of the green there. And uh, we were perhaps a little bit down breeze, but I give that one. I went after it a little bit, as they say. And uh, certainly, there's plenty of distances packed into these things if you're looking for it. I'm going to stop here and do my overall assessment of what's, uh, what I think of these irons. But before I do it, I want to get two sort of elephants out of the room because uh, there are two things that are going to produce the majority of comments. The price. Now, the price point is always the same for me. I couldn't care less what anybody charges because at the end of the day, it's up to you, the consumer, whether you go out and buy them or not. And it's the same for these. Some people will never entertain that kind of price. Others will. So I dismiss that when I'm reviewing a product. The second thing is the lofts. Once again, it's a strongly lofted club. I've done three videos this week on irons out here at Conway Golf Club, and each one of those irons has been lofted at 27 and 28 degrees in terms of a seven iron. So again, for me, believe me, and I said it over a year ago, this is gonna become the norm for irons moving forward. But it's not about just about getting distance. It's about this counterbalance between tungsten weighting, lower CG, counterbalancing what launch would be effect if we didn't have this strong loft on them. So you can already see, for me, there's a com complete, um, well, it, it almost goes against the grain. Ball flight like that does not relate to the loft that is on this 99. But anyway, let's forget those two things for now. In terms of performance, these are, they're very, very good. They're excellent. The, the, again, how would you knock a club like this? I said earlier on on one of the irons I played, I've not hit the ball particularly well today in terms of my swing with irons. Um, but I barely missed a fairway and I don't think I've lost a great deal of distance in all of those shots as well. So that's, you know, you've got to hold your hat off and say, that ball was straight out the middle and it's pure. But I've hit balls, like I said, from back on this tee that came out the bottom grooves. And again, the distance that it's getting and uh, this idea of urethane microspheres, whatever they are, the sound dampening, um, the vibration dampening, you've got to believe that it works. You know, I mean, whether you like technology or not, these things do work. Um, the point is always the same. What will you achieve? What you're looking for from your golf game? But if you if you're into this kind of product, if you're into tech, if you're into um, price point that these are at, and you're prepared to go to that kind of budget, then you've got to put them into the mix to the similar type of clubs. Callaway have come out with what they say is a very much packed with technology. Uh, I love the look of the irons. I think they're superb. Question is. Are you prepared to go out there and buy them? And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. It's just your opinion that counts. I'm going to carry on it in some more golf balls. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you stick around because I'll be testing the, uh, or I'm in the middle of testing the Epic Flash Hybrid. And uh, a point to mention on that really, combining the two videos together, I think what's a very interesting one is a mixture of these irons in the low end and then from six onwards going into the hybrid. Unreal set of golf balls. I'm finished.